Okay, Barry, I'm going to um, introduce everybody to Barry. This is my uh, one of my first clients when I had mortgages. I've known him for a long time, many years. He's got the most very successful mattress firm, and we've got everything set up where he can do like a turnkey wholesale wholesale scenario that you want to liquidate mattresses in like uh, the first increments will be like $25,000 increments, and you'll be able to sell them to different ways without overhead to begin with and then lead into a retail aspect if you get a, a place and I'm gonna let Barry talk about the kind of profit you can make off these deals and then how you're gonna set it up and structure it and then he's gonna be your wholesale provider that's gonna give you the lowest rates that'll beat the competition and like he's done with his business for years and made lots of money you'll be able to do the same thing and I will let Barry do the talking from here well, the way it works, uh, who I'm set up with, they got contracts with the, with the big name manufacturers, Serta, Simmons, and all that, and they can get blemishes, overstocks. Most of it's blemishes, it's like a perfect sleeper in a Serta. There's like 44 different versions. They might put everything. The internal parts are all perfect. It's the outside. It's something stupid on the outside. A tag's been not put in the right place, or they didn't put the right thread, so they can't sell it as new. So they have truckloads because it's human error, and they'll have truckloads made, hundreds of them. Well, they can't sell them as new, so uh, our guys have contracts with the factories, so we get the blemishes and all that and that's how we can get them so cheap so a two thousand dollar bed that a new company like a, a mattress firm would cost them a thousand dollars we can get it way cheaper now and then we can sell it at 50 percent off and make three to five times the profit and that's how it works but now we got hookups where we can get everything we're going to start getting into the appliances. We got a uh, connection where we can get Lowe's scratch and dents. So everything's going to be a name brand, and that's the, that's the way you do it because you, you're going to sell it at 50 to 70 percent off, depending on how much the profit of the of the name brand is. Yeah, so they got they get into this with like barely any overhead. I mean, like we got it set up where it'd be like a 25,000 hour increment. And you said like um, on that kind of inventory, like a truckload, you you're mentioning they can make like five times their amount of money on that. Well, it depends. It depends. Like on if we get it, depends. All the truckloads are going to be different. Nothing's in a standard loads. It's just what comes from the factories. So if we have a bunch of Stearns and Foster, you're, that's twenty five hundred to five thousand dollar retail beds that you're going to get at five six hundred dollars. So you can sell it at 50% off, or you can sell it at 70%. The, the, what you make profits up to you. But yeah, but like even at, uh, like you were mentioning the other day, like at, even at 50%, 70% off, they, exactly. still, they still make like how much money? Like. So it, that's what I'm saying. So if you got a $5,000 regular retail Stearns and Foster, and you got it for five six $600, you sell it at 50% off, there you go. Yeah, so you're making bank. So like on a twenty-five thousand dollar shipment, a person could easily clear probably a hundred thousand bucks, maybe seventy-five, a hundred thousand. On mattresses, the truck loads between ninety to one hundred and five pieces, depending on kings, queens, all that. Yeah. So, so yeah. A, a full truck, you have basically a hundred pieces. So it's whatever you decide to price it at, fifty to seventy percent off, but. Since you're going to do it as a liquidation, you want to be at least 50% off. Yeah, so perfect. And and like you mentioned earlier, they could start out low overhead and like just put it in storage. And then they could sell it on like Facebook to all the people local. but Or pull up a truck uh, and, it, and just rent a place in the parking lot and make money. I mean, it's you're talking major cash just off of 25000 Exactly. Because can, you can even do bed in the box. Like, that connection to bed in the box, so... If you want to just have a truck and drive drive up in a parking lot, there you got a bed in the box with jail technology. That's the latest going thing is the jail technology. Yeah, so no matter what, it's gonna the price is so low that there's no way you're not gonna make a profit. I mean, like you can't see uh, Barry's got several stores. He's been doing this for years. He makes tons of money at it. So I mean, this is the scenario, and you couldn't even get into this 
industry without having like having huge volume and having the connections and this is the connection so if you got into this at even 25,000 and did it on storage I mean it'll only take one truckload before or you just went and got the retail space from minute one you're already in business and you can already outdo the competition with the, that kind of pricing because it's got one flaw on it and then Barry said also you'd be able to set up the whole scenario with appliances you're talking name brand appliances with like a ding and then we can do furniture too oh my gosh and furniture i mean there's no way because there's no there's no even uh there's no businesses out there that are even selling uh just like a one flawed thing it's like a whole niche that hasn't even been fulfilled correct i mean that's a no-brainer right there and then when you can give the customer 50 to 70 percent off of name brands you're selling name brands all these other stores are selling, saying 50 to 80 percent off. They're selling a no-name product. Yeah. And, and and you can't even Google. You can Google everything that you get, and you can see what the suggested retail price is, and you can see what other people are selling them for too. And they got it at such a wholesale price, so everybody in town is going to be buying a mattress, appliance, and every single thing is going to go to your store or go to your inventory that you got on the truck and be buying this stuff. I mean, you'd have to be brain dead not to buy from this setup, this connection. This is why if you get this with the volume, the way he's got it set up, you can buy 25,000 increments. So the first one, you're going to make like 75, maybe 100,000, or you can maybe make, make more. And then you're just, he's just going to be your supplier. So it's going to be constant and the prices are low. The volume is the wholesale connection, which took him years to get set up and figure out and to make this model and to do it. And you have it all turnkey. I mean, literally, this is like huge money in a. When I first got in, I said it took it took about two hundred, two hundred twenty five thousand for one store. Yeah, just to set up with the overhead. Yeah, that's that was just to get set up. That was the franchise fees, the whole works, everything. And you had to go through all that and then get on your own setup and your own business where you're not even under a franchise. Correct. Yeah, so I mean, when I'm talking about this scenario for a client turnkey business, you're you can't fail with this because it's like pure cash. And then you're selling all the products, you're not just selling a Serta, a Simmons, a Sealy, a Stearns and Five, you're selling them all. So you can you can play hardball with every competition competitor you have out there. Yeah, plus the furniture and the appliances. Oh my gosh, how do you how are you not going to make a million a year easy on this thing beyond me? I mean, if you do it and press it, it'd be simple. Correct. I mean, uh, and to train your salespeople, I can help you guys train the salespeople, or Barry can. Uh, it's going to be an ongoing thing. You get your first shipment, then you guys need help. He's going to help you, or I'll help you on the phone. We'll get it all set up. And you want help with the location? You get free. Three. And that's another thing. Uh, you don't have to worry about the warranties on these because there's no warranties. Yes. So not going to come back. But once once you shit. sold them, it's it's over. But yeah. we're selling good product, name brands, so there, there's really no reason. Yeah, they're uh, not going to be a warranty. It. Yeah, because they're gonna uh, you're gonna show whatever the little flaw is. I mean, it, it's not gonna be. Oh. In a mattress, well, who's going to notice one little flaw? It's not going to matter. They're not even going to notice it. None of it's really noticeable. You yeah. don't even know because oh, a tag that says Sir to Perfect Sleeper is not in the side instead of the, it's in the middle instead of the side. It's it's always something stupid, stitching. Or they put the wrong topper on that bed. But the internal parts are the what the top of the line of that bed. These are all top of the line beds. So you don't have to worry about the internal when they worry about no warranty they they got the they got the engine of the yeah they the, got the, the whole the whole main part of the bed so i mean this is you, perfect. you're getting all the gel technology everything all the beds will have gel technology now that's the going thing yeah the gel technology yeah so they have all this and then like i mean this is a perfect setup for the business i mean if you technically had a client or a customer that wanted the name brand for an extra whatever thousand fifteen hundred dollar price you could just order it or uh we could supply that as well but they're gonna yes. sell how it, this would sell like hotcakes but when you're when you're offering a two thousand dollar bed 
for nine ninety nine or eight ninety nine. Yeah, you can't. Uh, you're talking Walmart, Sam's. Nobody can compete, can compete nobody. with those prices. Nobody. Walmart can't even compete with them. Yeah, so with the pricing. you put your thing in right beside Walmart, and you're blowing them out of the water, and you got free traffic coming by your your store all day and night. I mean, you won't. You I've had stores next to Sam's and Walmart, and they still outsold them. Yeah, and you weren't even, uh, and all your stores weren't even selling a little blemish. You're doing name brand products cheaper. Still. Yep. Yeah. You have all those stores, too. So, this is perfect, because they could buy buy this, then they transition to the appliances, then you got the furniture. And I, I have the connection where I can get anything. I mean, I can get, I get Wayfair overstocks. I can, I can get uh, Walmart overstocks. I get Target overstocks. That's it, amazing. It, it just depends. Nothing's ever said, but I can get almost anything that those those stores carry. Yeah, and then you're gonna have, and then if they put a, uh, the retail place right by those stores, you got cheaper stuff than what they even sell in the store. So I mean, there's no way you're not gonna be able to make a ton of money. Correct, Man. and then we can, I can, I we have a you get some sign guys you pay uh, eight dollars an hour they hold signs on the Friday Saturday weekend business yep. and that yep. will draw you fifty percent of your your money right there as a sign guy yeah saying uh, liquidation close out of business or that kind of stuff just say liquidation and you put the fifty seven percent off the liquidation sale and. That'll be fifty percent or more of your revenue a month, just on the on the three days each each weekend. Oh yeah, that's gonna be huge, and it's in a, if it's in the right location. I mean, there's well, no way. It's always know. about location, so. Yeah, get a good location. <laughs> but yeah, the first but the first round they get to do what I mean, literally they could do the storage the, or location. Yes, the first round you could do a storage unit. An old warehouse, whatever, wherever you can put the stuff up, but you still got to be able to show the customer. So you got to have some way of showing them. Well, yeah, they might as well just uh, they just might as well do a, a location because you could get free rent for like three months on a contract. So then yeah, cur yeah, usually uh, you get the ninety days pretty much free. Yeah, so all they got to do is get that uh, some salespeople. In a merchant account to take credit card, and that's simple. All that because I can, because I can show you the signs you need. Because you gotta have signs around that said there's no warranties, blah blah blah, to cover. Because they will ask about warranties, and then that's you just gotta explain to them these are brand new from the factory. Yeah, just selling as is, and then uh, uh -huh. everything's as is, and avoided warranty. But they won't, I mean, they can look at it, check it all out without any... Oh, uh, yeah. There's no way to see. It's not going to fail. There's no way. They cut, yeah, the beds come in plastic, so... Yeah. They, oh, man. That's a perfect business. You just the only it. thing is sometimes, like, the factories, they uh, will throw their all their blemishes in a, in a back of a trailer, semi-trailer, yet without being in plastic. And then once... Our guys pick it up. They take it to the warehouse and put it in plastic. There does get some dirt marks and all that, and I can show you how to clean that water. And half water, half peroxide will clean it up 99% of the time. Yeah, but uh, that's probably like what percentage? Probably not even that much percent. No, it's not that that, that not, many. They're probably all in. Uh, they're still plastic, so. Well, they all get in plastic from our factory. Yeah, so it's in plastic, but like uh, most of it probably doesn't even have much. I mean, for the price, and uh, you're talking like what a name brand mattress is like two grand. So who's I mean? Well, especially like, when people know it's like Stearns and Foster that they're getting a Stearns and Foster for under a thousand, and what they the average Stearns and Foster is around about forty two hundred, and people know that if they know if they've been looking, they know the pricing, and they're gonna buy. Yeah, so like forty two hundred bucks, and they and you guys selling it for whatever price you want, you're making all that money on it. I mean, you're just talking cash. That's a lot of money to be on the uh -huh. business. And you have direct access to the, you got the inventory for like, you can't start a business on anything for like 25,000 bucks. If you got this, you get your free rent for three months, a merchant account, 
Um, you could hire a sales staff. I mean, that's not much. I mean, that's like a no-brainer. Then uh, I also can get you hooked up with the SEMA credit. It's a no-credit financing people, and they're really good. Oh, it's wow. It's a 12-month lease. And yeah. if they go to 12 months, they're paying double, but you don't care because you're getting your money in. Once it's done, it's over, and the customer and a SEMA credit. So they so could actually worry apply, about anything. The customer could apply for that credit in the store, probably. Yep, yep. They can they apply on it right there. You just send them the link while you're in the store to their smartphone. They do all the work. They put in all the information, and it'll come back here and nay. The only thing that holds them up is bank accounts, and if they have, a, have defaulted on a payday loan. Oh. Other than that, they will get approved. Like right then, and then they can Yep, talk. they get approved right then, and you can get the sale done right then. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, there's like no... And you, and you get your money the next day, and it's a hundred. It's just like a cash sale. You get, they don't keep the percentage out. You have to charge the customer $50 for their application fee and all that. But other than that, you get the full, if you sold a $1,000 deal, you get the $1,000 next day in your bank account. Yeah, so that's extra cash. Will they, will they do that on appliances too? Or like, they will do it, yes. Oh, shit. They'll do it on anything. So you got like, they could buy the mattress, the appliances, upgrade the appliances. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you get the mat and the furniture. And one thing about it, say they didn't get approved for enough for all of it, if they pay, it's 90 days basically the same as cash. It costs the $50 initial fee, then there's a $10 early payoff. So 60 bucks, they can pay whatever off, and then they will automatically get that same credit line, or they usually will bump your credit line up since you paid one off. Oh, yeah, builds a credit and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, now these people that are going to do this and need to be thinking about how much money this thing is going to make on Christmas and the months before Christmas. This is like the perfect time to get this set up because like, well, your, your sales got to like double or triple on Christmas. You have pretty good sales uh, during that time. Man. But mattresses sell basically all oh, yeah, year around. Oh, yeah, I guess that is true. I wouldn't think and that. appliances sell basically all year round. So. Yeah, so this is stable all year. But boy. yeah, your most your mattresses. Yeah, there is a mattress season, and it's a Memorial weekend to Labor Day weekend. There's oh. more mattresses sold during that period than any time in the United States. Oh, really? But they, but they mattresses are a seller all year round because you got to sleep. Yeah, yeah, everybody's got to have a mattress. And appliances, they break down. They don't have a seasonal. When they break down, you got to get another one. Yeah, so you get that set up and then uh, maybe get your store set up with the extra charge for delivery. Make money on the delivery. Yes, well. you'll make money on the delivery. You can also put that in the SEMA. You can go 10% over the credit limit. Oh, for the for delivery. Your, for your delivery. Yeah, so you just made even more money on the delivery. Correct. So if they didn't have the money for delivery, you can add the ten percent. So if it, so if it's a six hundred, you could add sixty. So, so so. Yeah, that'd be big. You could probably almost do like uh, and compete with the uh, rent to own if you want to jack it up on a long term and collect the payment. Well, uh, you're gonna beat the rent to owns because they're selling the cheaper brands and that you're paying the high end brand and you're yeah. getting a high high end brand at the beginning. Well, yeah. So you'd have it. You'd have a cheaper, cheaper money in it, and then you could finance the thing yourself and collect a, like four times the amount you would have sold. It for. Yeah, you're selling a name brand product, at the high end. To their, it's still a name brand, but they're selling the low end. Like I said, the perfect sleeper has like 44 versions, and there's tier one, tier two, and tier three. Where they sell the lowest tier, the cheapest lowest tier, and you're selling the highest tier, and basically the same price. Well, yeah, you can technically, yes, yeah, you can even undercut it a little bit lower and do yep. less. You can put it all this, goes at wow. what the cost works out with the freight and all that. Yeah, you could, because uh, you got all the rent to owns, you got the Walmarts. There's no competition. Exactly. Man, that's just, that's the perfect turnkey business. So with the with the no credit check, you can you get all the clients that you can buy. Yeah, so you get all. So how would you make money on that? You make them do a down payment, cover the original cost. No, you, on a SEMA, you get the whole. Say it was a thousand dollars sale. 
you get the thousand dollars the next day. They just have to pay fifty dollars up front. Oh yeah, yeah, on that. But like, uh, so if you did, that's for all the normal normal people. But like, say you wanted to, the hey, normal people are. I'm sorry, not normal people. But the, people the, with credit yeah, the, is going is going to use a credit card, pay cash. Yeah, but if you wanted to set it up like rent to own, you would maybe get a down payment out of them. That would cover your. Well, the Asima is your rent to own through Asima. Oh, that's your Asima. Oh, I got you. So, it, so you get your money. You don't have to deal oh. with none of that payment stuff. You said. So will they do bad credit? They probably won't. Yeah, they. That's it's a no credit. That's oh, what I said. Shit. It's a no credit finance, oh. and if and they will finance almost anybody as long as you have a bank account for ninety days, you got a job income going into that account, and you don't have any defaults on payday loans because that's the only network they check. They don't check your credit. They check some the network that the payday loans use and if you have a default then that's the only that's the only three things that's going to get you is a no job and a, no bank account and a, and, and a default on a payday loan so you just beat so they be, they beat the rent to own people they beat walmart they beat every single person and you just have to have it you might as well they might as well just start out with the location and no, it's gonna work, and just do it because this cheap twenty five thousand is nothing. That's nothing. correct. That's nothing to make money. At twenty five thousand, depending on the product, because we can't guarantee, guarantee your truck what's in the truck until we order it. Well, yeah, but, but uh, um, we'll get yeah, we'll break them down with uh, in, like you in, said in, earlier, that could be sixty five to to a hundred return. Yeah, but you could uh, each client want to specialize in a certain thing we'd say you'd set it up to where they get like what they like and yes you exactly. work it, uh, so everybody's gonna win and it's gonna keep going because we're Barry's gonna make money you're gonna make money every time you order so it's our best interest and I've been here for like 10 years at least so you're gonna get uh, the whole setup and help and everything you need I mean it's simple I can't think of anything uh, if they just get the location they're ready to go then three months no payment on the rent, merchant account, and, and you already said you help them with the uh, the financing on that. So the next yep. next round would be uh, appliances and furniture, so they could just grow this thing. Yep, and once you get those three, then you're pretty set in that in the household full there. Yeah, so they set it up like that, and then wow, you can't go wrong. The appliances, furniture, and the mattresses. Then, then, then you just got to hire a manager to oversee it and run it. And you got to have good salespeople. Yeah, good salespeople and a good manager. So I guess they would advertise, they'd look at, they'd advertise, they'd probably look for a manager that's been in the business, so he's going to know how to run it as well. Yep, and need somebody that's been in the mattress furniture business. Yeah, so this thing is totally autopilot. I mean... You got all your stores and you don't even go. I mean, you're not there all the time. You have managers all the time. So it's called residual income. That's how you do it. Yep. Wow. So it wouldn't take that long to get, uh, I mean, like once they get it, get it first set up, then they need a new order. It'd probably take like not very many days to get a whole new order. It should take 10 days or less. Yeah. So, yeah, we could have another truck. They should have enough in the warehouse where you could possibly get it out in two days. Yeah. So they they got to they gotta get it inventoried and loaded and then delivered by semi. So get the whole thing. You're right. Depending on the location of where they're at. Oh, yeah. Depending on what state they're in. Yeah, exactly. I got you. So once they got the retail location, then... They would probably, how would they get to, they would, if they wanted to do delivery. Probably well, delivery would be from them, so they'd either have to get a truck. Yeah, they get truck and a uh, truck. Or and, uh, they just have truck. the customer come and pick it up there. Yeah, have a customer pick up. I mean, it start out with the customer picking up, and then, then they get a truck, and then make money on the deliveries, and have the guys deliver. You're going to make money all the way around. Yep. Wow. And then you don't want to get into haul off because then 
and that's going to cost you, so you got to tell them it's delivery only, no haul offs. Yeah, just delivery only. Because the landfills will charge you twenty, twenty to twenty five dollars for one mattress. So you don't, you don't want to get into that. You just tell them it's delivery setup, and that's it, no haul offs. Yeah, delivery setup, and then. Then if they want to do the appliances, same thing, delivery, and then the setup, you got to make more money on that. That'd be like a setup on appliances, probably like a hundred bucks, hundred fifty. Yeah, you, know, you can uh, you can set that to whatever. Yeah, so there's money all over. But you want to be depending on where you're at is where you set your price at. Yeah, and you just hire a guy that had done uh -huh. appliances. And there's a, a lot of cities that guys that's all they do is deliver stuff, and yeah. they'll come to my stores and and. Want to want to be a contractor? So you so you, you can still do make that too. You still make money when you subcontract it out. Yep. How much? You, uh, how much? You set. You get a set price from them what they charge, and you just add on at the beginning, and oh. then you take the money, and then you pay them. How much um, money you make on a delivery on a subcontract? Uh, it just depends. I mean. If it's out of town, you, there's a certain charge. If it's in town, it's a certain yeah, charge. Yeah, so it's still good money. It's just uh, yeah, you, you still make money. Yeah, you're not even doing it. But you're money. but you're making you'll make you know twenty twenty fifty bucks doing nothing. Yeah, on top of the sales and everything. So, yes, man. So they just gotta find the location with good. I mean. Location where you can get a sign guy visible. It's got to be, you, you want to be by a traffic stoplight on a busy street. Yeah, that'd be good. So you can put a sign guy at the, tra at the stoplight. And you put you put a guy in front of your, to your storefront. Usually, usually two is about as good as you need. Yeah, two guys. One, one will work, and you, like I said, you pay them eight bucks an hour to ten, depending if they're dependable. Yeah, plus, I mean, they could get a nice, I mean, I got a client that has nice, great digital signs or whatever out front as well, but yeah, the sign guys are cheap, and then, then work up, build the company up. Yep. So, they just got to get maybe their tax ID number, and then... That's all you need is sales tax ID. And That's it. The location. You're in business and a location. And they're ready to go. And Merchant U Square, that's one of the best ones to use is Square. Yeah, then that's it. They got no payment uh -huh. on the contract for three months. All they got is inventory, set up the store, sales people. That's it. Yep. Pay them. And then uh, the sales people, you know, you got to. They gotta make at least seven twenty-five an hour. So if they can't make sell sell twenty-five seven dollars and twenty-five cents an hour, you gotta find somebody else. Well, yeah, this stuff sells itself. Do and you, you sell do you these give high-end beds. You give uh, the salespeople some kind of a bonus or commission or something for selling so much. Or well, you can. I mean, you got you gotta set that per store. Or just say you give a uh, you give them a raise later if they're good and just let them right. Burn. You can yeah. See, so you can bump them say to ten. Like uh, we got some guys that get eleven dollars to twelve dollars an hour. Well, yeah, that's perfect. So they got to at least make that every uh, hour you want to pay them once a week. Every yes, two weeks, yeah, that'd be good. Then a uh, manager, you probably just pay him depend on his. I don't know what you pay a manager. Well, the, the manager you. Uh, Probably I mean, you pay money. him so much an hour, so he's going to make more an hour than anybody. Yeah. Then, then you'll give him a store bonus when the store reaches whatever you got it set at. He gets whatever bonus you want to set. Yeah, give. whatever you want to set it for. Uh-huh, but you, you can't really do a bonus the first month because until you get a, an average. Yeah, what he does. Then you can start setting your figures for everybody. Yeah, how good he is. That's good. Uh-huh. So that, then they... Then they get then into you, the They need part. to emphasize these uh, Facebook buy sell trade groups in their area because it that's cheap that's free so you gotta uh, get somebody to advertise daily on those and that's free advertising. Yeah, and everybody knows them anyway. It's gonna come yep. look at their mattresses and they have a location. Yep. Boy. The location wouldn't be that hard because there's so many uh, offices for rent. I mean, like, yes, man, 
retail. But the main thing is, you don't really, I mean, you can go with the, you got to have a showroom floor if you're going to go with with the mattresses, the appliances, the furniture. But you don't have to show everything. You just got to show. Yeah, show the nice you just stuff. Gotta have, so, yeah, stuff. you put the nice stuff down, and you can you can either have storage units, whatever. You don't have to have it all on site. Yeah, you just have you, to be able to get it there if you, if they want it today. So you want to have your storage units very close. Yeah, so the the showroom would have like the the stuff that you'd make the most money on, the most popular stuff, and then yeah, you put it. the you put your third eye comforts. I mean, your Sealy, uh, premiums, you put all your nice stuff, then you always got to have the cheaper stuff, so you know, you keep your cheaper stuff at the front, because people want tw cheap twins, I mean, yeah. It, some people just want a cheap queen, which, you, there's still uh, the cheap queen that you're selling is way better than the cheap queen next door, or Sam's, or yeah. Walmart. Yeah, so the cheap stuff, and then... Like, uh, you could probably sell, they could probably sell, like, uh, the bed frame, like, the real full beds and stuff. Yeah, you can, it just depends on what furniture you want, and, and I can also, I can get the connections for, uh, all the frames, the twin, full, and queen, and king frames. What if, um, there was, like, uh, like, uh, in the beginning, so they did have a, a mattress showroom, and then there would be, like, uh, some type of, uh, like a menu with like stuff that they could order off the menu of like the appliances and the well, bed frame. You don't really get to pick and choose. It's just what's oh. available. So what's available? I, oh, okay. Yeah, well, I get a manifest, and I can tell you what's on there, but we're not gonna. Oh right. Wait, now you can't pick and choose. You can't it's, pick and choose. This is, this is what's on, here's your truckload, and you got this how many units, and this is what it breaks down per unit. So then, you know what how much money you can charge and yeah so it's just uh they get the truckload then they run through the inventory and then they order some more and keep going yeah it'll be a manifest so we'll know exactly what they got and if there is an issue we can get get it replaced but uh it. you'll have so i mean there's uh, there's always going to be so much inventory they just won't be able to keep up with be able to sell it oh uh, what that happens they say there's one that came that had a big rip in it from moving you, people will buy it anyway yeah and and you can stitch things up you can put patches like on the usually at like the bottom like some of the, the factories use forklifts every now and then you'll get a forklift hole in the bottom of one so you can uh, put a patch over it you can go to walmart buy the patch kit and he puts on in about 15 seconds with an iron and people you just match the bottom of the color of the bed and, and that's, that's good. You, you don't even know it's there but you can still discount and say oh they got got ripped at the factory so we're discounting another 25 to 50 dollars yeah so that bed would sell for how much so you're still selling it and gonna double your money no yeah, matter what. so you're still selling the bed for like what like a good bed like a thousand bucks it would have been two thousand or something exactly yeah so there's no way they're still getting a bargain and it's on the bottom so nobody cares anyway. it's a bed yeah people won't even know anyways it's so exactly why would you buy it i mean you there's you'd be crazy to buy one that's perfect anyhow on a bed not like anything else but yeah that's a, that's all you need a little but if you depending on what you're going to sell i mean usually we stick to about 2,000 square feet showrooms yeah two, then, that's good very good yeah 2,000 because then feet. your rent's pretty low and then you your storage units don't cost that much a month What's square footage renting now like 10 bucks or how much is it going to be looking it at? just depends on the Where's area that? yeah we always try to stay in the ten to twelve dollar range. So that's like how much a month? T t ten bucks on two thousand. Is that like a couple thousand a month? Yeah, a couple thousand a month. Yeah, not bad. You got your sales team, which is not much. But the way it works, yeah, you, know, you keep your rent down to a couple thousand. Hell, two beds is paid your rent. Yeah, you, then the rest is all profit. Yep. So there's like no way you can't make money on it. It's really not. Nice. As long as you got salespeople who can sell, you can you can make money all day long. 
And I would say worst case in the scenario in the world, I guarantee if they wanted to just flat out say I quit the business, you will get your money back they by could selling sell, it at your cost. Yeah, you could sell. I mean, I get. I think it probably sell for fifty to hundred grand just for this setup. Yeah. I mean, because you can't get a business and just walk in. I mean, she many Christmas. You can't. Yeah, they can get it up and going and sell it to somebody. They literally could just sell it for hundred grand and just walk away. Because the more. regular retail and what they would ha already have would be way over that. Oh, yeah. There's, like, no way to fail on it. I can't think of any way you would fail. I mean, it's a pretty good setup. Because mm -hmm, usually uh, we can get uh, sheets and stuff, too, so you can make more money selling accessories, too. So you, oh. you sell sheets, pillows. Exactly. So, you, you can, uh, so there's all kinds of ways to make extra money so, off of one bed cell. Yeah, so you got uh, you got all the wholesale connections on the sheets and stuff. So they were just wow. So you can you can make an extra hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred dollars just on accessories, and you, we got adjustable bases you can sell. So adjustable bases, you, that's another easy grand to your ticket. Wow. So you got the the mattress. Yeah, you got the bedspread, the adjustable base. I mean, the. Uh, you got your pillows, your sheets. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're talking. This is why Walmart base, makes billions of dollars. You can, you you can still shit. put the adjustable base inside your bedroom furniture. It's, uh, the whole thing. It's, uh, it's however you want to set up your liquidation store and what you want to sell. Wow. That's all that stuff. So then, then they got the, the appliances. That would be huge. So. You got the mattresses, the sheets, the appliances, and furniture. Man, that's a little appliances with a ding in it. I mean, those appliances. I'm scratching that. Yeah. Yeah, they're like two, three thousand bucks on some nice stuff. I mean. Oh, uh, you get some of these refrigerators for three or four grand. Oh yeah, and, with the refrigerators, with all the crap you got in there. Uh huh. In nowadays. And, and you're getting. Oh my and God. you're getting it for six to eight hundred to maybe a thousand. Just depends on what they sell it for they liquidate it to me refrigerators I mean, would sell like crack because those things man you got like some with the internet the ice and the, the new freezers and double doors mm -hmm. you got that sub zero you can see inside the tv without opening the door oh yeah and then the ovens they got all kinds of double double ovens and the flat tops and mm -hmm. all that stuff they could probably, you could probably even get them uh, outdoor barbecue stuff to sell. I as can well. get everything. Man, if you got that plus the barbecue shit, uh, all that stuff. See, I can go right here. I can go down the list. Yeah, the whole. I got uh, Amazon the whole... overstock truckload wow. liquidation. I got, I got truckloads of Walmart bicycles, mattresses, dot com, tools, hardware. All that. Lot A, pallets. Home Depot, general merchandise. All Target, that stuff. general merchandise. Wow. I mean, I can get... I got Honeywell fan liquidations, new case-packed inventory. Yeah, fans. I mean, mm -hmm. you cater to, like, uh, the summer, so you'd want, like, all the barbecues. Wayfair and... furniture load. Oh, yeah, Wayfair is good. Another Amazon liquidation, two truckloads fully manifest. Man, yeah, so I can get a truck six thousand packs of thirty two diapers, the huggies, truckloads. Oh my <laughs> Yeah, so about anything. They can make the store yeah. set up for like every every season. Coles liquidation, patio garden truck truckloads. What about um I don't know so I guess you do the summer stuff, I don't know if you could do seasonal stuff like there's probably no different for Christmas. It's the same year all, all year round. But yeah, it's all year round. All power generators, a whole truckload, thousand watt. Man. Panasonic microwaves, truckloads. Yeah, and all that stuff's cheap, so mm -hmm. it's gonna sell. Everybody's gonna go to your this store first before. Harbor they Freight buy. Professional Tools, truckloads. There's no way you won't make money on this deal. Industrial paint shakers, mixers, four buff buffers, and more. 
man. Well, that's awesome. That's good. Um, so basically, what, the way we do this, if if they're interested, which they will be, they should be if they're smart. They put up. Uh, we get the get the whole invoice and contract for like the first truckload, and then they just got to get set up at the location. And then uh, you want to you want help with anything else? Uh, get, yeah, they need to send us twenty five k. Yeah. And then we'll, and they want to tell us what they want to sell, and then we'll yeah. start getting truckload for them. Yeah, we'll get the inventory, like uh, whatever's gonna come in the shipment, and then. Yeah, we'll location. get it manifest and show them the retail and what and what they're paying. Yeah, and how much money and, you can make on it. And how much the freight, yep, how much the freight's going to be. But yeah, like a rule of thumb, you should probably make uh, like four or five times the amount of money for the 25 easy. You should at least make three times. At That's about three. on average because you're going to... You're going to know people and you're going to give them discounts. Oh, yeah. So then... Like, People will bring people in, so you can do some discounting. Or, uh, uh, there's going to be different ways that, to make money. That you're gonna you're gonna discount, but you're always gonna make money. Yeah, big money. And then like uh, they could start out with the twenty five, or they could start out with fifty. But either way, I mean, you got more product. Mm -hmm. So they want to get into the beds and then you'd want to get in like some appliances you have the key nice ones and some maybe nice you got the bed frames and the sheets in there yep so we can, i can get all that yeah so like they'd have like a whole setup in the store like like uh, the bed frames you don't really make a lot but it's still extra cash on a bed sale oh wow well yeah it's still good money it's all volume uh -huh. this thing's moving but like I said, any of the accessories you sell just keeps adding to the profit of your of your ticket. So. But yeah, yeah. If, if you got like, I would say at least for, uh, mattresses, then then the key appliances because you got fridge and stove and microwave. Everybody's got to have it. I mean, the furniture you can probably pick up later because people are kind of more specific on that. But. Uh -huh. That's why you just keep it to simple stuff. Yeah. Like couches, lazy boys. Oh, keep it like that. Yeah. But go and that's easy. It's also easier to move. Mattresses <laughs> and fridges. That's uh, that's got to be hot. But the ovens. but the stoves, washer dryers, and refrigerators on your appliances because that's the main sellers there. Man, if they had a, just a hot sign out front. Now, it's gonna it'll take off because once everybody knows in town they're gonna go there because nobody wants. Well, that's to pay like when you get them sign guys that, that people are gonna know and you start hitting Facebook. Yeah, you know. so every every uh, weekend's a big sale. Mm -hmm. Man, there's no way it would. There's no way it doesn't work. I mean, it already works. You're already doing it, but uh, these guys just need to get it in their head and set it up and run with it put it on autopilot and then you got one location and then you do like you did and start spreading out a whole bunch of other locations yep like the east side and then the west crazy. side you don't want to mess up your own market by putting too many in it oh yeah so they what do uh, maybe well east and west side or then yeah you or another east town but you, depending on the size of the town yeah, so maybe they, yeah, the size of town. If it's not very big, go go to another town. Yeah, you'll have to go to another town. Yeah. Wow, that's it. That's it. Turn key right there. That is, uh, that's a business in a box right there. Huh. Yep. Well, that's, um, that's good, uh, information. So, basically, when you guys... When you clients are ready, uh, give me a call and we'll get this thing set up. We'll get the contract or invoice and everything going. And then you just got to come up with the location. And this is going to be like your autopilot. Get a manager and some employees. And then, uh, you know, for a fee, I can come out wherever and get them started. Oh, time. yeah. There you go. Then you come out. Oh, man. So, yeah. If you want to go out and help them as well. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way they can't not succeed at this. None. So, how many people could you start out with? I mean, if they want to do the start business. I guess it's probably as many as we get. As many as you can. Yeah, get them going. All right, well, that sounds good.
Well, I guess maybe uh, later. I guess we'll get the clients that want to set up, and they send the money, and we do the paperwork and get it all set up, and they get the location, and then maybe we we'll do uh, another call later after they are in business or something, or help them, or you go out there for a fee and set it, help them. Yep. Keep it going. Yep. So, Sounds good. Yeah. Well, all right, buddy. I guess I'll talk to you later then. Okay. Thanks. I'm back. Okay, bye. Now, there you go. You just heard it. That's cash. You're talking big money. And once, I mean, like I said, you can go out there, you can meet him, and then um, if you actually knew his history and, like, the kind of money he makes and the funding I've gotten in his business, and, I mean, I got his first house for him, like, years ago, and you know you're connected and you're going to make some bank. I mean, this is no just, you know, average you know want to be business person i mean we're talking money real cash money and i'm telling you guys how to do this and i'm setting all these things up turnkey so you guys can make the cash yeah i make a little bit off the wholesale stuff but that's how life is i make a little bit you make tons of money but i'm not even making that much you make a decent amount but the whole trick is setting up your businesses and get things going and make the cash and um, get into other things. So this is going. This is this is killer. Um, the trucking I have going, and it's like uh, the contract on that's going to be locked down this week, which I'll have all the details on another video. And that is that's super hot. But every deal that I'm setting you up with is like this is not this is something you couldn't do or duplicate or even try on your own because like. You got the connections. This is why Walmart is Walmart because they got the prices and the stuff. Well, you just got it right here because uh, Barry's been out doing Walmart and all these people with name brand stuff without blemishes. He just really started doing the blemish stuff. Uh, his market in all his stores in the last six months and uh, it's exploding. I mean, going off the chart. And he's already putting all the other competition that's name brand, same thing as he is out of business and growing his stores all over the country in different areas and stuff the way it is so nobody is doing what this model is nobody is selling the little ding or whatever the little setback on the mattresses and the appliances and all this stuff so this business is hot I mean it's cash it's money low overhead low risk and you know I've been here for 10 years and Barry's gonna be there so you're gonna get perfect help it's gonna be every truckload the pricing is insane I mean there's no way you could fail so there you go this is um, you're beginning to making it big so on this business I got trucking commercial we got all these other things going but all right so there you go Give me a call and we'll get things started.